Hello everyone, my name is Sik and today we'll be having a look at Ground Branch, an upcoming game by Blackfoot Studios. So one, if you've never heard of this game before, it's a tactical shooter inspired by the original Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon. One of the developers for this game actually is the major um, developer for this game. And it's basically a spiritual successor to those old school games because as people that know me they know that I'm a huge fan of Rainbow Six, Rogue Spear, Raven Shield and the original Ghost Recon. They're basically the games that I grew up playing especially the first Rainbow Six and Rogue Spear. They are incredible games. I still love them to this very day. Unfortunately they don't really run well anymore on modern PCs so it's high time we got a new game and up until now all we've really had is the Arma series. No other tactical shooters are being made that are any good. That was Takedown, Red Saber, which was really 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 bad. I played that for maybe an hour or two, but it was so it was so lacking in features, it was so bare bones, it felt like a mod. You know, it just wasn't wasn't good at all. It it tried to hail itself as the next tactical shooter. But it just really wasn't. Ground Branch, however, is, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a really in-depth game. They've been working on it for a long time, but finally like, they're making some progress. But one thing to, to note is that this game is worked on mostly in, in their spare time, because they don't really have the funds to do full-time development yet. They tried a Kickstarter, it didn't work out, unfortunately, because Takedown Red Saber kind of stole their thunder. They got on to Kickstarter it just before Ground Branch did, and basically they sucked up all the money and they made a really shitty game with it. Which is tremendously sad, because Ground Branch is so promising. It has a really good design philosophy. It's trying to be very close to real life, like it's the next evolution of what Rainbow Six and Go Ground um, Ghost Recon used to be, and it tries to combine the, the best uh, features of both of those games and try to drag the entire thing to the next generation. So my frame rate isn't really good right now, it has mostly to do with my computer. My computer isn't really able to deal with Unreal Engine 4 games all that well. I need an upgrade really badly, so if you see bad FPS, just assume it's because of my computer. And of course it's a work in progress game, everything is bound to improve. So one of the really really cool things about Ground Branch is that everything is very customizable. So if you see on the main menu here you have an operator setting where you can customize your operator's appearance and loadout. Now at the moment it works but there is um, some things that don't completely work just yet like the tactical vest you can edit it and you can add magazine pouches on it for ammo for grenades uh, breaching charges all that kind of stuff but ammo at the moment is infinite so it doesn't really matter how many ammo pouches you put on the vest it just works and it keeps working but all of this is bound to change so, like I said, it's pre-alpha, it's heavily work in progress. You can change your name, your head, right now there's only a white and a black option. And there's your shirt, which is like both alpha and bravo, which at the moment is like the two teams you can play as in multiplayer. You have your alpha team, your bravo team, and you can des designate your own uh, unique loadout for both sides here. Same with pants, gloves, and arm patches. And the arm patches are actually quite nice. There are some options in there, like country, um, the different flags and different countries and all that stuff. So, one of the cooler things, however, is that you can completely customize your weapon as well, and not just your appearance. And you can do that by going here, by primary. And as you can see, I have my AMP 45, or UMP, I'm not exactly sure how to call it. But there's a pretty long list of weapons already in the game. And most of them are very customizable, however, not all of them are. So, for example, the AKS 47U yeah, isn't very customizable, as far as I know. If you notice the bad uh, texture 
stuff it's also because like I'm not running this on the highest settings and there's I think an issue at the moment where the highest textures are loaded into the game like, in uh, into this um, overview at the moment but in game it looks a lot better and this will be improved in the future as well so as you can see like the AK-47 it didn't really have any customizing customizing options except for the ammo which it only has one of right now but if you go to the M16 for example you have sights, accessories, muscle device, ammunition, all that stuff so you can put an ACOG on your weapon and this is really cool you can put it anywhere on the weapon where you want so I'm not going to use an ACOG in the gameplay demonstration because it kind of does a double render and my frame rate just drops horribly but I can use for example the hollow sights, the, the reflex sights, the red dots, all this stuff. So you can see I can put this wherever on the weapon I want. I can put it all the way up to the front or I can put it all the way to the back. The thing is it actually has an uh, in-game effect as well because when you put up your weapon you can see it's further away or closer to your face. So the, the sights actually become smaller or bigger depending on where you put it on the weapon. So that's actually really cool. So next up is um, at various attachments. You can put a foregrip, so I'll just put a foregrip here. Uh, you can have a laser sight, you can put it on the side. Again you can put it wherever you want. I don't really use that one, but you can put on like the tactical light, which is really nice. And it's also really fun because you get the shadow from the muzzle as well. If you see this in game, you'll see like the, the shadow of the muzzle will change depending on where you put the light on the weapon. It's actually quite cool. Uh, muzzle device at the moment, I think, yeah, it's only the suppressor. Then ammunition, it only has one choice as well at the moment, but this might be changed in the future. And all you really need to do is just press up press apply and now you will have this weapon and it's yeah it's really cool okay so I jumped into one of the maps that comes with uh, ground branch at the moment this one is called the tanker ship right now I'm in um, well I'm in the place where the captain steers the ship and <laughs> I forgot the name in English right now but um, this map is absolutely bloody massive like it is huge and it is basically a real-life sized uh, map of a tanker ship, of an oil tanker ship. And you can go all the way to the front, you can go to the back, you can go up here to, I guess, the cockpit. You can go down into the engine room. It is absolutely bloody massive. It is huge and it is really well designed. It looks really, really awesome. And there's a night and a day version of this map, actually. So right now I'm in a, I'm in a day version. We're somewhere at sea, I don't know exactly where, but um, yeah, just look at this, it looks absolutely great. And I can walk all the way to the front of the ship, it's going to take me a long time, but actually I want to try to find the engine room. And after that I'm going to show you some of the AI that's in the game. So the AI, it is work in progress right now, uh, I'm not going to talk about it while I'm playing, I'll just like play a video of me playing but without me speaking about it so I'm, I'm gonna talk about it now a little bit while I find the engine room so they have a, a dedicated AI guy now and he's been working on getting tangos into the game or terrorists or whatever for us to hunt and there is um, a small terrorist hunt test map at the moment so that's um, where you can play with these AI soldiers and so at the moment um, that's the only map that you can fight against the AI on but oh man, I can't wait to fight them on this map because it's gonna take forever to find all of the tangos and oh, it's gonna be an amazing co-op experience really I'm just gonna follow these stairs down but at the moment they're very work in progress as well much like the rest of the game they um, are getting smarter by the day um, just a day or two ago, they released an update that now enables the AI. Oh, I can hear the engines, but, but it, it enables the AI to um, to open doors. They already walk through the map on their own, but um, 
Yeah, they weren't able to open doors, so they would stay stuck in buildings and stuff. But now they can open doors, they can walk throughout the map, they can come find you inside buildings and all this good stuff. And it actually makes for a tense experience, because they you can hear their footsteps, they're a bit loud at the moment, but you can hear the AI coming for you as they walk through the building and come from outside. And it, just, it just makes you feel really tense. Right, so here's the engine room. Look at this place. It is massive. But it's also very noisy, so I'm not gonna be here for that. I'm gonna head back up and get away from the noise. But anyway, so yeah, they can move through the map, they can open doors. Um, they're a bit hypersensitive to the sound of footsteps, so if you walk into the, in between the buildings, you will pull all the tangos outside of the buildings, they will all come for you at once, and it gets really tense. They, you can lose them, actually, you can sneak a little bit and they will not find you. Um, if you break the line of sight with them for a while. But... Um, yeah, they're hypersensitive, so they all come at you at once, and it's a little bit much. But this, these are all things that are going to get tweaked. Like, there are also things that they don't react to really well yet, so they don't really react to incoming fire, so you can shoot someone, they won't, they won't notice. Uh, if you hit someone, they don't really react just yet. But these are all things they are going to do this, they're going to be implemented, so don't worry about, about it, you know? They will react to incoming fire, that for sure, and um, it's just going to be a little while before this can happen because the guy who works on the AI, he works part-time, he basically works on it whenever he has a chance to do so, which is not all the time, like he has a day job and it keeps him occupied, you know, but he, he does a good job so far, like I've seen the first AI test on video, you can find them on YouTube if you look carefully, where they really didn't do much of anything and now they're getting smarter like I said they're, they're opening doors they're moving through the map they're hunting you down the way they move the way in which they move through the map isn't the smartest just yet but it, they're going to be much smarter like I read a post on the forums um, yesterday I think or a few days ago talking about some of the plans that he's making about the AI um, seeing danger zones not just areas where they see a lot of bodies are piled up because obviously if you see a lot of bodies piled up in the door you might want to go a different route but um, that's that's one of the plans that he's going to have in there but a really other a co really cool thing that he was talking about as well is making them realize that there are danger zones where there might not be someone inside just yet or there might not be a pile of bodies but where you might have a reasonable expectation that somebody might be there like doors and windows and so this is one of the things he wants them to do he wants them to automatically scan doors and windows as they move along even if they can't see anything there just yet which means that they will all kind of slice the pie on doorways you know which usually only players ever really do but if they if you can get it to work in this game it will be amazing because they will walk through the map they will automatically look at windows and doors and move in an appropriate way around them just like a player would and it's going to make them really 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 dangerous anyway i'm gonna jump to the to the gameplay footage and i'm gonna just let you watch it keep in mind like i said it's work in progress the ai is not perfect yet it's going to be a while before they are but it's shaping up to be really really cool so have a look and enjoy <laughs> 